it's uh, based on a light novel too. I know there's a lot of hype around this from the light novel readers. So, and I can see why because first I thought the first episode was really strong. So, I thought it was good. Yeah, I know uh, Taylor, you had some good parts. Or was good, some good points to this one. I don't know if you remember them. Um, are you talking about like what I found online about what's uh, going on? I think so. It was basically well. Shoot, should we? Okay, never mind. Maybe we'll skip that for now, just in case if it was spoilers. Okay. Um, because actually, no, we found out through Koo that it's actually in the synopsis. Um, that they were, uh, that uh, that that there were actually like uh, people in those things. Um, oh, right. It's not actual. <laughs> it's un- actually in the synopsis. drones. There's actual yeah. people inside of these things piloting yeah. them. Well, and then uh, yeah, the uh. If you don't want slight spoilers for episode one, do not read the description of the show. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. But I mean, even when I read the description uh, by watching the show, I kind of just forgot about the synopsis until the ending where it kind of picked up the point that, you know, there, there is a slight twist to it. So, I mean, um, well, you know, to kudos fair, to the show for doing that, I guess. To be See, fair, I hadn't read. I didn't either. I, I, I read a little bit of the synopsis, but to be fair, though, you can kind of tell. That they're gonna, it wasn't actually on man with the way that the episode was going. Like when they talk about like District eighty six, and then and then the way that um the main character was talking about them. Like I could pick up by that sense. Like oh, they're actually real people. So I well, what? well, <laughs> I feel like even in the <laughs> opening, isn't the opening where we first get introduced to Reaper or this unit where one of the handlers is trying yeah. to tell them to execute one strategy, and then yeah, he doesn't do dude. that, and he's just like. What are you doing? Like, don't do this. And then you can kind of feel like there's obviously more human emotion in that interaction, even though they're not like physically showing like yeah. either the handler or <laughs> so, the, the so people like from that the much of a spoiler. You you can pick it up like the first half of the episode. Well, I actually thought um, uh, I she just really like I thought she just really liked AI <laughs> first. Yeah, until, that's what I thought too. You know, but. <laughs> until it started showing like more and more where I thought where it was getting more obvious. That, Nonetheless, that long story AI. short, going blind. You'll have the best effect going <laughs> yeah, blind. Yeah, okay. it was fun. It's, 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 definitely, it's definitely confusing. Like it really, it really drops you into everything, and you kind of have to, you're like sitting there spinning your wheels trying to figure out, okay, what exactly is going on? But I, I think it's worth it to go through that that little bit of confusion. I think it, it's mostly cleared up by the end. Yeah. It does yeah. what like mm-hmm. light novel shows love doing. They love dumping all this exposition in the first episode. <laughs> But um, I will say this though that my mark for Hasbondo for this show died by the end oh, of the house, first you episode. Yeah. So that yeah. was my guy, and I was oh, like, yeah. "You've got to be kidding me!" <laughs> okay. You mean the casual MC from like, dude, he looks just like Hero from Gumden. Uh, I don't know if you get. Oh yeah, a little bit. That, yeah, 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 really. I'm, okay. Bit. Yeah, because he has that. He has that generic MC like badass. Um, no, 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 not, not like, that guy. No, 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 no. She's talking about the guy that died that he had to go at the end. Oh, oh, the guy that died. Yeah, okay. the guy that died. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I think his name was like I forget what his name was. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, he just loved Cook that cat. Joe. Thank you. So, yep, he just like he, he just loved that cat. So, oh that, no, you I, knew I, the I, minute I, when the cat was taking food from everybody and then he jumped on him. At you're just like, ooh, this guy. I don't know if this guy's gonna make it. Yeah, a little foreshadowing. <laughs> supposed to be bad luck. Or um, yeah. I, I guess so. so. Cat hates you. Yeah. One of the things I'm curious about this show is with the like the other race basically the race that we're like initially introduced to not the ones that are fighting i'm really curious like why they all look literally the same like i yeah, mean I, white hair and the yeah, exact that's shade crazy. of white hair there's not even any differences or anything that like you know because like there's a lot of races here in our world that are born with black hair but they're still like different you know different yeah. shades but these people are identical to each other no, so i'm kind of trying to figure oh, out what's going on with I that i didn't even notice Definitely that probably wow. some like genetic manipulation or if they're really reaching at straws, then like this elite group that obviously solidified itself at some point, they just kind of kept breeding within, you know, that that genetic pool so that they wouldn't have any variety uh, variety That's of, just uh, because of people they, they, and how they look. They I, just like that white bluish tint hair. And I didn't even humans notice didn't that. Offer that so. But now it makes more sense why like I mean, the one that the 86 people call them white pigs it makes so much more yeah. sense now because i mean i hate to make the reference hair. but they basically are like nazi-esque in this mm-hmm. regard hey Where, no, you know they, it is that, that a, blonde eye, blonde hair blue eyes kind of glorious mentality. yeah republic fighting against the eel empire They're yes, <laughs> yes. for humanity the, yes no so. um i actually that was the big thing that really drew me in admittedly was um just kind of this focus of war and kind of these propaganda-esque like ideologies that are being introduced in this you know class 
um, divide that exists. I, I remember like one of the parts when we're introduced to uh, Lena, uh, the main major girl that has, you know, these feelings for the 86. Um, when she's first arriving at headquarters and she's seeing like all the other uh, handlers either like slacking off or like drinking and talking, you know, shit about these quote unquote lesser humans. Um, I kind of enjoy that in the sense of because it gives me that Code Geass vibes where there is this very heavy oppression being made. And I'm sure as kind of the plot progresses, we're going to see that kind of divide be shattered and then, mm -hmm. you know, kind of come to the forefront more and more. I also think it's kind of curious to see, correct me if I'm wrong on any of this, because it occurred to me just now, but when she was so excited to eat like that cake and those cream puffs because they were made with like real life actual real ingredients, yeah. um, dairy in this case, um, that was obviously considered a treat and something that wasn't normal. But then you cut to the 86 and they've got like chickens and all of this other stuff that they have access to. So like what's going on with their resource management too? I'm really like, curious about that. Like there's a lot of context stuff to pay attention to yeah in show. we don't know I enough yet about the, the larger world of how did you get to this point and who mm -hmm. kind of you know is holding the the reins i wonder if they're making for, that connection between like like a utopia where like everything's <laughs> industrialized and processed where it's like even though like mm -hmm. the asics where they're i guess they're not as well off but they're like even more natural stuff so i want to try and make that mm -hmm. that connection um that, I, cream, that cream puff looked disgusting yellow it did look yeah, disgusting. I, was, I was expecting it to be white yeah. i mean like when that thing hit this the floor i was like yeah probably it should have been there anyway speaking of that scene <laughs> yeah. um i was surprised by how like the tone shifts in this episode like where it like where she dropped the cream puff and then suddenly went to like her unit just dying basically yeah, somebody getting his brains blown and out then, or something and then the second half when it went to the 86 people and then it went from that that happy like cafeteria scene to them like in the battlefield so I actually really like that tone show. I think they nailed it. Like it, mm -hmm. it hits that impact well. of like I agree of how serious this show wants to be. Where I mean, it, mm -hmm. has, it, it it's a balance like trying to be like lighthearted and at the same time show like like how serious war is. So I really like that. Yeah, saw that. I'm like, oh god, 100%. what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> the the one gripe I will say for me is uh, I know we haven't seen enough of the '86 yet, and I think they do have a very diverse cast of individuals. It looks like, whereas I think with um the like utopian republic i'm not really expecting much from their characters i think you know we've seen lena we've seen um scientist uh, annette or, or uh, yeah, the scientist yeah. the head of our r d doctor and then we've seen uh lena's uncle who is the head or at least higher up in the brass of this yeah. army and then also we learned like her father died through you know some means mm -hmm. um but for me I, the one thing i will say is, is i'm a little bit not concerned, but not as hype off the main character from the 86, because <laughs> one, he, he reminds me of, if any of you guys watched uh, Out of No Zero, he reminds me of oh, the main yeah. character from Out he of does. No Zero, where he's, he's going to be this very, like, stoic. intelligent, and, like, yeah, stoic yeah. and uh, protagonist, where he just can kind of get people out of most situations. But I will say I was glad that, you know, then one of them did die at the end, so it shows that he can't save everyone. But I couldn't help but making that comparison um, of he's just going to be, you know, this super soldier that can kind of get them out of most pinches. He also has oh, a very a generic look. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but does. with the generic look. Yeah. Yes. But I'm, the still, generic hero look. I'm looking forward to him. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like those kind of strong um, characters in, in battle, like the strong, smart characters. So I always I'm mm -hmm. looking forward to how, how he, he acts on the battlefield. Yeah. So. It's better than being completely overpowered. Um, do we know yeah. who they're fighting? So uh, uh, they're fighting the, the country. Yeah, the Giardian Empire. Yeah. Is okay. What so they didn't mention that. I just missed it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, their name. Their country is like it's like the Republic of San something. San oh boy. Mag something. Magnolia. Magnolia. Yeah. All you have to do is say Republic, and you know it's not gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Let's not go that <laughs> I got far. Some, I got All some right. Star Wars action. <laughs> right. <laughs> The Great oh, Republic. Just, <laughs> yeah. lives in oh yeah, the sorry, it's missing the Great. He just wants to live in the Galactic Empire. Because he thinks... <laughs> ah, yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. And then the only other thing I'm curious about too is, um, like, they keep mentioning how, like, this is all going to be obsolete in two years. So I wonder what's that about. Like, why, like, why, are they so confident, why are they so confident that this is going to end? Or, like, either the war's going to end in two years, or, like, they can replace the 86, like, I mean, like processors in two years. So. They could easily be lying to them, too. Uh, that could be a thing too. It could be another well. propaganda yeah. focus that yeah, we just basically say, like, like, yeah, you can just yeah, tell them, like, hey, you only have two years left, and then, you know, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it you... would make sense because it's to the. Or, go ahead, David. 
it could either go that way or it could be like i just feel like they keep bringing it over because it feels like foreshadow like 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 some like new super, super weapon or like a, a nuclear bomb or something i don't know like that's what i'm mm. thinking like like something to end just a final thing to end in, in two years yeah but it could I mean, be also i, I guess propaganda. i guess for me it, it seems like yeah from their end it's like they're just full of confidence from a propaganda standpoint and even like in the the opening scenes when we see lena you know there's the announcement made over the uh the televisions and broadcasting and it's like oh you know attention all great you know people of the republic of san magnola we'd like the report that we've had another successful battle with no you know no fatalities, fatalities and everything so and everybody's you know cheering and lena's just kind of like huh like right because you know they know what the, the truth of it so a lot of just kind of blind eyes to yeah. what is really going on so yeah. but I'm, I'm looking forward to the show it's it was a very yeah. strong first episode yeah a lot of shows need to kind of th- uh, follow this <laughs> we'll see how it goes i think yeah uh, it'll probably be more about like the interaction between the main character and the 80s like the, the handler and the processors so we'll see we'll see how much political drama this gets to annoy Stren. There's... Well, hey, this has a point to be political, okay? I saw a lot of other things with Log Horizon basically posting, like, why is Log Horizon garbage now? Like, sir, <laughs> sir, we don't talk about that here, all right? Yeah, okay, my bad, my bad. That was here. last season, last season, new season. Yes, yes. Okay. Also, also uh, uh, was it shout to that opening scene, even though it was CGI, it was still really good. Yeah. I thought it was really yeah. good, too. I had I paused, oh, yeah. and I was like, damn, that was intense. <laughs> yeah, do you guys see this? I'm getting better with the CGI now. Like, I'm more accepting of it. Uh huh. Oh, good uh-huh. CGI. Good CGI. No, no, no. We need. We can watch Berserk again. Yeah, we we need Berserk 2016 to come back. We need that again, kind of sir. CGI again. We don't talk about that here. Okay. That didn't happen. I know. That, I that, know. that doesn't happen. There's here. the original I, series I, I and there's so the bad. movies. That's it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what? 2016. Yeah, what? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway. Yeah. yeah, I think we're wrapping up for 86. So I'm super hyped. This is my at least, at least my favorite first episode so far of the season. Probably my hype. Uh, show the season so looking forward to future episodes